Have you ever faced a frustrating error while coding, especially when you're just getting started? If that's you, you're in the right place. Today, we're tackling a common Keras error that many beginners encounter. I totally understand how disheartening it can be when you think you're on the right track, only to be stopped by an error message. You're not alone in this. Many new developers run into similar issues. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. A user recently asked, why am I getting a value error when checking my target in Keras? They mentioned that they have set up their training and validation sets for two classes, but they keep running into this shape mismatch error. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So, what could be causing this value error? This error typically arises when the output shape of your model does not match the shape of your target data. In this case, it seems like the model is expecting two classes, but it's receiving data that doesn't match that expectation. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this error in the future. To resolve the value error, the user should first check the class mode in the image data generator. Since the model is set up for binary classification, the class mode should be set to binary. Next, the user should verify the output layer of the model. The last dense layer should have two units for binary classification but it should use the sigmoid activation function instead of softmax. Additionally, the user needs to update the loss function in the model compilation. For binary classification, the loss function should be binary cross entropy instead of mean squared error. Finally, the user should ensure that the training and validation data are correctly formatted. The output shape of the training data should match the expected shape of the model's output. Did you know? The first neural networks were inspired by the way our brains work, but they were much simpler and less powerful than what we have today. We've come a long way. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests that for a two-class problem, you can handle the output in two ways. You can either have a single output indicating yes or no, or two outputs representing the probabilities of each class. If you're using the first method, you should change your model's last layer to output one value instead of two. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests modifying your model's last layer. If you want a single output predicting either zero or one, change the last layer to have one unit with a softmax activation. However, if you need two outputs for your classes, switch to using categorical class mode for your data generators. To summarize, using binary class mode gives you one-dimensional binary labels, while categorical provides two-dimensional one-hot encoded labels. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always double check your data shapes and model architecture before training. This habit can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve the value error and get your model training smoothly. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video where we dive deeper into Keras.